In our 20s, we're all trying to figure it out. It's the years where we somehow are expected to thrive and be successful, but also have the best years of our lives. How can you balance it, you ask? It's hard. You start to feel lost. But why not try making the little things great? Romanticizing your life, if you will. Today, I'm going to show you how to stop surviving and start thriving in your 20s. Good morning, besties. If you clicked on today's video, that means that you are trying to live your 20s to the fullest and get some tips on how to make your life feel like a freaking movie. And guess what? You came to the right place. We're getting right into it. Tip number one, wake up times do not matter. Your whole life you've been told that wake up early, get your stuff done, you're gonna be productive, but guess what? Not everyone's like that. And I realize that I am not like that. I thrive at night. So usually I wake up super late, but I'm gonna contradict myself a little bit because it is 7.30 in the morning. Kind of slay, but that's fine. I have a lot to do today and I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know about thriving. So tip number one is wake up at whatever time you want. If you make the most out of the time you're awake, guess what? It's the same damn thing. Tip number two is work out. In your 20s, that's when they say that your body is going to look the best it's ever been. But guess what? You gotta set yourself up for your 30s, 40s, and make it a damn habit. So we are going to work out this morning. I am going to do like a little Hannah Montana moment. You get the best of both worlds. This is what we're working with. We're gonna be a complete purple moment because I love purple. So this top I literally got at Fashion Nova. It's basic it's just like an oversized tee these leggings are so cute i got them at airy and look they just cinch you right in. i just want to feel like really comfortable so i just threw this on so let's go to the gym all right girlies let's head to the gym i am so pumped first i started off on the elliptical i do that every time i go to the gym i always do 20 minutes to start off my workout and it just makes me feel productive already. Then I went to this tricep machine. My arms are so definitely something that I'm insecure about. So I wanted to target them today. So we did a lot of arms. Here's me doing some bicep curls with my little puny little five pound dumbbells. I did some more triceps. I did like these tricep curls, I guess they're called. And I love, also don't make fun of my form because I'm learning. This is also another thing for like, I think your chest, but like also your arms. I think it's called like the military chest press, something crazy like that. But it worked out my shoulders and I kind of slayed it. This is something that I saw on TikTok and it's supposed to snatch your waist. You're supposed to do it with a kettlebell but i only had a dumbbell so that's what i used and then i did this i don't even know what this is but i guess it's kind of like the same something to do with my boobies my chest trying to make them perky and then i also saw this on tiktok it's called like marching i don't know but it's to snatch your waist and i want to be snatched for the summertime so you do it on both sides and i think you can do both legs but i only did one at a time it was so nice and then i finished it off with a plank i was struggling a little bit so that's it for the gym and then after that i quickly just head over to the grocery store i want to pick up some food slay <sighs> What a great gym sesh that was, seriously. <laughs> I will put up on the screen what like I did at the gym, how long it took, my calories, my steps, all the dang thing, right here. After the gym, I went to the grocery store and I'll show you guys what I got. I got some peppers. I honestly just snack on those, so that's why I just bought two. Love this. And then I also got some bread. I am such a rye girly these days. Then I just got hummus, because we're gonna have hummus toast for breakfast. I love this so much. I'm probably not even gonna show you guys the recipe because I've shown it in like another vlog, but it's literally so good. Then I wanted to get these. This is by the brand Healthy Crunch. They're the Crispy Squares Vanilla. Then I also got some like Annie's. I love these so much. I have a cucumber for our hummus toast. I got some bananas. I only got four because I feel like I'm always like, Let's get some bananas and then I don't eat them. So I only got a little bit. 
so like I don't waste a lot and then tomorrow I have a night shift so I got one of these so that is my little grocery haul now I'm going to make some breakfast because it is currently 8 10 and I'm getting a little snackish so let's make some breakfast There we go. I don't know why it looks so dark. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. It's going to be so, so good. I'm so excited. So let's eat. So tip number three is routines are iconic. It's what makes waking up and going to bed the best feeling in the world. So we kind of already started my morning routine. We worked out. We had something to eat. So next we need to do, we need to get gland ready. So that brings me to tip number four which is skincare is so important you need to do your skincare girly i'm not going to tell you again you need to do it to reduce pimples for fine lines for big pores all the do da day let's do our skincare now if you guys want me to show you the products that i use every day for my skincare i can definitely show them to you but let me know down below because maybe i'll do my own little you know skincare routine also i am a little tan but i do wash my face so if my face is different than my skin just so you know it's because i wash my face every day as you should okay so now that we got all of our skincare done tip number five is get ready because it makes you feel productive and confident and that is so important to have in your 20s is confidence I don't know about you guys, but people struggle a lot about confidence and it's so, so, so important because it makes you more outgoing. It makes you feel good in your own skin. So be confident, girl. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my makeup. I don't think I want to do like a full face. I literally will probably just put a little bit of glow screen on and mascara and all the little things. So speaking of confidence, Tip number six that I learned really helped me, I don't know, just have confidence is to do three like daily affirmations. Like just say three things you like about yourself. Like it's really not that hard, okay? Like I know you probably think, well, I don't like anything about me. There is something you like about yourself, whether that's your nose or your ears. It can literally be your big toe. Just say something nice about yourself three things so you could say i feel beautiful i have my dream body i love the way i look you could also say i am confident the more you say it the more your like brain tricks you into thinking it's true and then you'll actually believe it so do me a favor and just say three nice things about yourself slay okay so my makeup is complete I'm going to just do something with my hair, which I don't know what I want to do yet. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Love it. <laughs> I love putting my hair in braids lately. It's just so, so adorbs. I did my makeup. I did my hair. I just feel so beautiful. And that's exactly what you need to feel every single day. Even if you just want to wear sweatpants and a sweater, no problem. At least like do your hair or do a little bit of skincare. Make yourself feel a little bit better every single day. Tip number seven is work hard so you can play harder. As someone in my 20s, we sometimes struggle with going out. We want to go out. We want to have a lot of fun. But we kind of feel bad because, oh, I forgot to do that assignment. Oh, I forgot to do this for work. Oh, I forgot to do that. If you work hard all day, then you won't feel so guilty about going out. Because, girl, we're in our 20s. We need to go out and party so it's so important to balance both of them. So right now, let's go ahead and do some work. I have to upload a vlog today, like literally I have to because it's been a while. I have to upload a vlog, but I have a couple of things to edit into it. So that's what we're gonna do first. And then I'm gonna post my vlog and that will be my productivity for the day. I am done school, I just have to do my clinicals, so. I am all ready to go for homework. I don't have to worry about that, but if you do, Get on your grind, get working, so that tonight, or maybe this weekend, you can go out and have a blast with your friends. Okay, so I'm finally done being productive, doing 
YouTube stuff so I can upload a video tomorrow. My eyebrows are just not it right now. Tip number eight is go on your hot girl walks or go on your hot girl drives. That's why I got my headphones on because I'm going to go for a hot girl walk. It just makes me feel so good. Like clears my mind mentally and it's just so nice. So when you go on your hot girl walk, so you can listen to music, make yourself feel good. But what I do is I listen to a podcast. I like to listen to podcasts that kind of, I don't know, make me feel better, make me feel productive. I started watching or listening to Fernanda Ramirez's podcast. She's all about like good energy, romanticizing your life, all that stuff. And she just released a podcast. So I've been listening to those, just like listening to podcasts that make me feel good and make me just clear minded. So let's go for a hot girl walk. This is a whole different day, but tip number one is say yes to everything. So I have plans this morning, which I said yes to. So let's go ahead and start getting ready. You never know who you're gonna meet. So always say yes and you always will create a memory and most of the times they're good. So let's go. It literally looks like I'm wearing extensions. Slay. I'm actually really want to like dye it and like chop it off. But I don't know if I'm there yet. Now let's do our make. Also, I haven't self tanned in like maybe a week. I know it looks really like white, but I feel like I still have a little bit of a tan. But I put on like my white tinted moisturizer, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I kind of want to be bold. I have this like pink top I want to wear. So I kind of want to wear like a pink lip. What are we thinking? Also, I want to wear this skirt, but it might be a little too, oh, not my undies. I want to wear this skirt, but I don't know if it's a little too cold. Let's try it on. Okay, you guys have to see my outfit. I got this skirt from Garage, and I think this top is from Zara, but such a cute little spring fit. Now, this isn't like new. I just like threw this together. Also, my Tatas look massive. So I think I'm gonna go with this outfit, but the thing is, I think it's a little cold, so I need to wear pants. But like the skirt is so dang cute, I just don't know. Something that I think is incredibly important is fragrance. So tip number 10 is get a fragrance, bitch. I know that sounds kind of funny, like have a signature fragrance. Oh my God, Chris. Have a signature fragrance is tip number 10. I know it sounds weird, but it's just so important. You want to smell good. You want to make a good impression on other people. So make sure that your perfume smells really good. To give you guys a little bit of some guidance, if you literally have none, not only will a fragrance make you smell good and make like a good impression, I also feel like every time you smell that smell, it's going to remind you of certain things. So like, for example, I'm gonna wear this today. I know it's not like a new, everyone's obsessed with this, but this is the Brazilian Crush Black Amber Plump and Vanilla Woods. It smells so good, but it literally reminds me of the summer because all last summer I was wearing this. And it's kind of perfect because this is more like a day smell. Like you're going out, it's light, it's just like a body mist. Buy these at Sephora, very awesome. Now, I think I mentioned this before. Also, why am I so zoomed in? I also mentioned this before, but this is like my nighttime smell. So whenever I wanna feel like sexy at night, like this makes me feel so sexy in the day. Or sometimes at night, like a summer night, nice. But if it's not a summer night and it's, we're still in the spring, I would get this. This is the Valentino, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the pink one. There's like a green, a yellow, orange, I don't know. This one is the pink one. It smells so good. I just feel like it smells so elegant, so sexy, pink, black, beautiful. And yeah, so I just love wearing this and I wear this at night. I feel like this is more of like a sexy night smell.
And let's get back to re regular scheduled programming. Sorry, this is on, on a totally different day. I think I filmed that video on like Monday, so I wasn't going nowhere. Let's get back. Okay, so now it is the end of the night. So now I have tip number 11, the last and final tip is take time for yourself. We are so busy in our 20s and we are constantly thriving with all the other tips that we need to focus on ourselves. This is the time to focus on yourselves and better yourselves in your 20s. So it is the end of the night. I'm gonna put some pajamas on. I'm gonna quickly take a shower and then we're gonna do some face masks and some hair masks and everything that makes you feel good. So let's get to it. So let's go hop in the shower. Not let's, I'm gonna go hop in the shower. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I need to quickly like brush my hair, but I always feel like the best form of self care is like face masks and hair masks. So I'll show you guys what I will be using. So this is the hair mask I use. This is by Baragio. This is the Be Gentle, Be Kind, Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. It's really nice. I've bought it before, but as you can see, she's almost empty and I use it like after I shampoo. I use this as like a hair mask and I love it. I have lots of hair masks, but this is the one I use today. And then I also, let me brush my hair first, okay? Yeah, let's brush our hair first. Okay, so I brush my hair and it feels so good. My hair gets really dry, especially on the ends, so it's so important that I use like hydrating masks. Love, love, love. So let's put a little, where is it? To go with the pink theme, we'll use this one. Okay, so I don't know if I have any pink masks, but I wish I did, cause like kind of iconic <gasps> with my phone. I feel like, oh yeah, guys, I lost a nail. This whole box of all kinds of face masks that I have, and I'd love to, you know, use them up because I don't use them often, but I'd like to do face masks at least like twice a week. So I have a lot of options. I think I'm gonna go with this one, the Purifying Black Mask. Nourish in a mineral rich Irish more mud helps purify and refine. So let's do this one. So when I talk about self-care, like it doesn't necessarily have to be like physical. Like I feel like when I do hair care or face or skincare, not face care, skincare, it's very like physical things, right? But when you do self-care, it could be like reading a book. It could be going for a walk. Anything that just makes you feel good. And like, honestly, like when you're busy working and you know, you just had a hard day. What do you do when you get home to make yourself feel good? Maybe that's ordering out. Maybe that's going to the gym. Maybe that's eating a pint of ice cream or whatever. Just do something that makes you feel good. Honestly, every single day. So just be mindful and do some things to make yourself feel good. We do so many things for other people every single day. Don't forget about yourself because what I've learned is that there's only one person that you're stuck with for the rest of your life. You might be married right now and thinking, oh, I'm stuck with my husband. I'm stuck with my wife. No, you're not. You can always divorce. I mean, I mean don't, but I'm just saying, the only person you're stuck with for the rest of your life is yourself. So. Love yourself, girlfriend, or boy, who cares? Honestly, I feel like that's one of the most important tips of thriving in your 20s is to take care of yourself and know what your limits are and know what to do when you are in a slump and know how to get out of it. Okay, so I just took my mask off and then I put some moisturizer. This is the one I always use and my skin feels so good, my hair feels so good, and I feel so good. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that I gave you guys some tips and tricks on how to make your 20s the best years of your life. So don't forget to subscribe. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram right here, and don't forget to subscribe here, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.